Podcasts. Of a jumping. Now, uh, of course, the big news, ladies and gentlemen, is that <gasps> John Sargent has left Strictly Come Dancing. Oh. He has! He gone! Yes! He walked, he can do that. Now, um... <laughs> Poor John. Poor John. Because he's popular now, but hey, what's he gonna do when his looks go? That's what I want. Really <laughs> Now, uh, listen, we've got a great show for you, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Hollywood, USA, singing legend Tom Jones is here. <laughs> Tom Jones. I know. I know. We're delighted, delighted to have a genuine sex symbol on the show. There's Tom. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure which airline he used to work for. <laughs> <laughs> Fly me. Uh, uh, here's, here's Tom with another look. Oh, hello, sailor. <laughs> Has your ship just been stolen by pirates? Now, uh, <laughs> have you seen all that? The pirates and the oil tanker? It's mad, isn't it? It's quite exciting. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, these are modern pirates, not money grabbers with a peg leg. No. <laughs> We missed you! We missed you! <laughs> now, and my other guest tonight is my favourite comedian of all time, Alan Carr, ladies and gentlemen, is here! Oh. Alan? Alan, of course, uh, a huge star now, Alan Carr, so if he wants to go out, he has to go out in disguise. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those joke teeth. Hilarious. <laughs> Alan, though, of course, he's comfortable with both ends of the celebrity spectrum, from royalty to crackheads. Yeah, there. Look! <laughs> I tell you! He's met them all! Amy, have you seen her recently? Oh, new look for Amy. Yeah, there she is. Oh, <gasps> yes! <laughs> of course, it's new hair. I think it's the perfect style for her. Yeah, completely off her face. Uh, <laughs> You're very welcome, both. Now, uh, you. Have, have you met before? Yes. At the Q, the Q Awards. <laughs> I'm glad we went with the location quickly. Yes. yes. <laughs> before their minds start to wonder. Well, really? Where did they meet? <laughs> At the Q Awards? The Q Awards, yes. Were you were getting an award? Uh, no, I was giving one out. All right. I gave one to, uh, to Grace. I gave what to? No, I gave, I gave an award to. <laughs> I gave an award to, to, to Grace Jones. Ah, lovely. Yes. And, were you giving out an award? Well, no, because I was hosting it, and someone had told me that Grace Jones lived in Northampton, <laughs> where I was brought up with, and I went, Grace, I said, oh, you, you live in Northampton. I grew up in Northampton. She went, what is Northampton? <laughs> Honestly, no. she's crazy, though, isn't she? Oh, yeah. So, uh, I can say, she's crazy. You thought she lived in Northampton. <laughs> <laughs> now, we had you walking on to uh, one of your own songs there. Because uh -huh. um, uh, fantastic catalogue songs and a new album, which we'll be talking about later and hearing right. a track from later. Now, um, Alan, do you ever... Because 
when you walk on, when you do gigs, they have to choose music for you to walk on to. Do <laughs> yeah. you ever get a Tom Jones? I got, I got a Tom Jones because I used to do. There's this great club in uh, called the Glee Club in Birmingham. It's a oh, comedy yeah. club, right. and I started getting uh, known about there for doing comedy, and they'd yeah. always stick on "She's the Lady" <laughs> when I would come on. <laughs> <laughs> Killer Queen, W-O-M-A-N, <laughs> all that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, good. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the song. Oh, oh I love the song, oh, but no, oh, yeah. they're making out I'm a stereotype. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, you were at the centre. It's like we've had someone just back from the, the centre of news. Because uh, last week, you were there at Strictly Come Dancing. Yes. Singing for them. So That's right. was there lots of tension, or is it just a lot of old guys? It must, it must be tension, because he's walked off. Yeah, well, I, I didn't notice it. You know, I mean, when I was, when I was singing, there was just two couples uh, dancing in front of me. But they I've were, always wanted they to were go professionals, off. you know. Is that really distracting and a little bit annoying? Only if it looks that way on, on the telly. No, but... I just wonder, because, you know, you're singing, I'm Tom Jones. I'm saying, mm -hmm. who are they? What are they doing? Yeah. And it's like suddenly you're just in a hotel. Mm. <laughs> There's some quite good dancers around. <laughs> it, it must, the first time it happens must be a bit of a shock to the system. Yeah. Well, it, I did the one in, uh, in Los Angeles, which is um, Dancing with the Stars, they call it over there. Uh, so I was used to it, you know, I mean, I went on and yeah. they were there dancing and... But at least over there, you're sort of up on a, on a stage and they dance down there. But in this one, you're right... <laughs> you know, you're singing and they, they come in across the, like this. So... Disrespectful. Well, you know. <laughs> what are you singing? Little foot out. Yeah. <laughs> Not so clever now, are no. you? Yeah. <laughs> And do you, I mean, do you give time to follow reality shows and things? Do you watch them? Yeah. Because it's always a bit weird. I think when you, it's someone like Tom Jones, you kind of think, he can't do ordinary things, like watch Sydney Come Dancing or X Factor, but you do. Yeah, yeah, I watch them. And, and which would you say you were, an X Factor person or a Strictly? Oh, my God, I don't know. That Go is ahead. a difficult question, I know, yeah. Tom. I hate it to put you on the spot. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, but I, I watch. I'm a trained journalist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I watch talent shows because I like to see what's... What's happening, you know? X Factor, so, then. Well, X Factor, yeah, I yeah. think so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not much of a dancer myself. Well, not that kind of dancer, anyway. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking of, have you ever been asked to do reality shows? Um, not as far as I know. Yeah, your people probably just went, no. Yeah. <laughs> he, never, he never got to me. No. Because you, no. you wouldn't, would you? You don't need to. No. No, because you only do them if you have to, yeah. don't you? Well, uh, yeah, I wouldn't fancy that. Because do you, you see on Breakfast TV, Peter Mandelson, um, like you watch Breakfast TV, but uh, <laughs> man going, there's television at breakfast? I don't know. Peter Mandelson was on the news there, saying that he'd like to be on Strictly Come Dancing, right? Mm. Now, I, I don't know if you... Peter Mandelson, he's one of our few openly gay politicians. Uh, this is a picture of him, I think it's back in the 80s, before the world knew he was gay. Uh -huh. There he is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea. No, I see, I see that. <laughs> Actually, I'm calling him Peter. I shouldn't really call him Peter because, of course, he's in the House of Lords now, so I should refer to him by his proper title, which is Lady Mary Mandelson. <laughs> 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 oh, now, here's an exciting thing, because you see Alan <coughs> and Tom, and uh, you kind of think, what do they have in common? Now, many of my guests have an odd link, this is a corker of a link. How, this is so random. Like, if it was a quiz show, you'd be here forever to make this link between the two of them. Right? Oh, do you not know? No. Oh, well, I think, well, OK. So, here is uh, Tom Jones meeting uh, Muhammad Ali, sparring with Muhammad Ali, right? You think, oh. that's fair enough, mm. right? How weird is this? Look at this. It's Alan and Muhammad Ali. Wow. Isn't that... Yeah, I know, it's weird, isn't it? Now, isn't it weird that you kind of think, Tom Jones, yeah, you met him at Hamilton. How the f <laughs> did you meet Tom? <laughs> well, my, my dad was the manager of Nunny in Town Football Club. And the chairman... Already? It's still... What? I, I know. <laughs> I turn up there, I'm forced to go to these football matches by my dad. I'm there, <clears throat> Muhammad Ali opens the new ground. 
Really? And he turns up in this car throwing uh, footballs and tennis balls to, was it stung like a um, bee? Oh, yeah, 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 the music, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and does all that. And, uh, yeah, I get to meet him. And, I, you know, I'm not a boxing fan, believe it or not, Tom. Oh. <laughs> and, um, so it was like, uh, oh, well, then, um, then I realised now, God, what a legend. Yeah. But it's funny though, isn't it? I don't, I don't know how they did it. I don't know how he got round it. But the Neaton football ground. You'd, <laughs> Muhammad Ali, you'd so sue your travel agent, wouldn't you? <laughs> Nuneaton, there's a lovely place called Nuneaton. I think you're going to like it. <laughs> yeah. It's with Basra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Tom. Uh, yes. Wales, obviously you're a huge hero in Wales. Uh -huh. you got, now, where did it was it? Pontypreeth. Pontypreeth. You grew up? Yep, 12 miles from Cardiff. God. And... <laughs> <laughs> not sure what that was. I think, no. it, was a I think it was a cheer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as a little boy, you got sick, which is kind of what saved you from going down the mines. Yeah, I, I had uh, tuberculosis from the time I was 12 until I was 14. So, so I was bedridden. At home, though, you know, I could stay home. They didn't send me away, because sometimes, in those days, they would send a child to, uh, either to Scotland or to Switzerland, you know, somewhere where there was... Oh, that's a win-or-lose situation. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so... so... <laughs> <laughs> You're opening the card. Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a picture. Is this you and Pontypreef? Yep. That's overlooking, overlooking the town. Yes. That's Pontypreef then. <laughs> Scotland's not looking so bad now. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure it's nice when you're there. Yeah. Now, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get letters. Mm, bad thing. Uh, now, but you do, you loved Wales so much yes. that, uh, again, maybe this is, uh, is it true the thing that you bought the phone box in Wales and shipped it to Los Angeles? Yes. Well, they gave it to me, you know, the, the GPO. When, uh, when I heard that they were putting in new telephone boxes, yeah. I thought, my God, it would be great to have that one for the, from the bottom of our street, because that was the, the, our only telephone, you know, was, was, in a, was in a telephone box. We didn't have telephones and houses in those days. So, um, so that was it. They said, yeah, if you, if you take it and transport it, you can, you can have it. So I did. But they did replace it. Oh, yeah, they replaced oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but there was a there's... long queue at the end of the road. No, going... no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Went up to the box. Nice, Tom. Tom <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they put those dodgy ones in, you know. And I like those old red ones. They were the great uh, cast iron red. I think we've got a picture boxes. of you in it. Now. Um... There you go. <laughs> Is that in Pontypreeth or Los no, Angeles? No, no. That's what, what do you think? <laughs> I can't, I can't. I can't tell. It's very hard to tell that. Yeah, um, so this was the, in your garden, in it? Yeah, in... yeah. Now, is the story true where you sold it and then got it back? Yes. Well, I sold the house to Nicolas Cage. Hello. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I bought it from Dean Martin. Hello. And uh, <laughs> I sold it to Nicolas Cage. So then he wanted to keep the telephone box because he was going to do a, a Superman movie, but a dark sort of Superman. So he said, if you could leave the box so I can go and get changed in there, you know. Because the, Superman, <laughs> you know, Superman, you know what I mean. Coo -coo. Uh, uh, <laughs> So then uh, I heard that he, he, he didn't want it, or he was, was going to do something with it, so, so I had it back. <laughs> so when I, when, I, when I moved house, I, I took it with me. So you still got it? Yeah, yeah, I still got it. That's... Uh, it's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, I carried it around with me, you know. It's, yeah. And it's a bit heavy. It's, it's a talking point? Yes, it is. Yes, it's nice. Now, Alan, have you played Wales? Played Wales lots of time. Cardiff, um, Newport and uh, Swansea. But I tell you something, have you ever been to Port Talbot? Port Talbot, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, everything's pebble dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's like, and they, there's people like going outside the pub to have a fag coming back in. Pebble dash. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, and the smog there, because they're drilling for something out to sea. And the smog, in it is just... Yeah. And I did a gig, and it, it lasted about three hours, because you'd get people going... <laughs> 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 Do you, do you speak uh, Welsh? No. No? The part of Wales that I'm... Well, South Wales, it, there's not a lot of uh, Welsh-speaking people. No? Not... It didn't used to be, but I think it's getting uh, stronger now. You know, the, the Welsh language is coming back. They're mad for it. Stronger, yeah. Mad for it. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to buy it. 
No, there no. you go. That's uh, your job. <laughs> it comes free, you see? Yeah, it does come free. Yeah. It's a language. Uh, no, uh, there was a bit of a Welsh uh, um, language thing in the news recently, yeah. right? What it was, uh, right, there's a sign in, in Wales, right? No entry for heavy good vehicles, residential site only. So far, so dull. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, underneath, <laughs> right, Welsh. And yeah. what they did was, uh, it was supposed to be a Welsh translation of that, right? But they sent it off to uh, the council translator. This is an email to the council translator mm. saying, what's the Welsh for that, right? Now, sadly, the translator was out of the office, right? <laughs> so his email just sent back an automatic reply. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that just says, I am out of the office at the moment. <laughs> Please send any work to be translated. <laughs> No, I swear to God, no. that is true. No, that is true. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Is, can any of you speak Welsh? That's what that says, isn't it? Yes. You see? I'm not oh. making it up. No, you are. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Uh, we want to talk about image a bit because your image over the years, when you start, because like, we were looking, I was looking at old pictures of you. Now, yeah. Here's a picture of you, because these, the, the outfits, the, that doesn't look that comfortable if you hear me. <laughs> well, it, uh, it's, uh, yeah, the, the pants were a little tight. There, I was again. I've never going seen there. a man with a camel toe before. <laughs> 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 He smuggled a little coal out of Wales. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, listen, uh, we, uh, we have a style icon on the show, your good self. So, uh, what we thought we'd do is we'd give someone in the audience a chance to kind of jones up a bit. Uh -huh. Right. So we have uh, some male volunteers standing by, and they're going to stand on stage and just tell you a little bit about themselves. Right. Now, uh, ladies, it's up to you guys to judge whether they take your fancy or not. So, if all the women and gay men as well, if you'd all like to stand up, so women and gay men <laughs> stand up. Very good. So what happens is, what happens is, they'll come in and uh, they'll start talking about themselves. If you're not interested. Sit down, okay? <laughs> you following this? They're fine about it. They've obviously faced rejection before. <laughs> so, uh, can I have a... Look, they're smiling. My first one, please. Okay, just... Uh, yeah, here you go. Hi, my name is Patrick. Uh, I work for an investment company in the city. Uh, I live on my uh, own. Uh, I think we can oh. stop there, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> there are three slags up there. <laughs> <laughs> but... Either they didn't understand the game, or it doesn't really count. <laughs> and thank you very much, Patrick. Well done, you. I think you might be a winner. You might be a winner. Uh, next up, next up. Oh, stand up, stand up, uh, uh, gay women. Yeah, that's how that works, yes. Hi, my name is Tom. I'm from Chicago. I'm 43. I love garbage sales and language seminars. And oh, Tom, I voted for I'm Obama. sorry. I... Uh... <laughs> Barack hasn't done enough yet. <laughs> We haven't had the Barack bounce yet. Uh, next up, next up. OK, and off you go. Hi, my name's Ken. I'm from Islington, North London. <laughs> I'm in my spare time. They love I you. Like to they love hang you. on, my mates with drinks, and I like to travel. Uh, I recently just come back from holiday from Hong Kong and Thailand, where I made a whole lot of friends with lady boys. Uh, <laughs> I can't really live alone with my dog and a plant. And a plant that. You've made a lot of friends there. Are you Lady Boys fans? <laughs> or are you just Lady Boys? <laughs> oh, that's your boyfriend? <laughs> oh, so you don't have to say standing. It's a bit weird and creepy that your friends are standing too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who got the? I think that the worst reaction was for who was the first man? What's your name? Patrick. Aww. Now Aww. I know. So I think he deserves the makeover most. Do you think? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I brought some clothes here. So you come and join me, Patrick. Come over here. Okay. So you can hide behind the clothes. Pick it out. Just put put a, put a jacket and thing. Oh look, and you could do if you take that and that off, and then you could choose. <laughs> I would choose. I would go with that. I think. That's right, yes. That's nice. So you have that. Take that off and pop that on. There's arms there. And put something on there. Okay. 
Look at those two. They're almost going to run down here. Yeah! <laughs> He's halfway there. Let's have him. <laughs> they pop them on. So they're like sideburny things. There you go. Lovely. <laughs> OK. There you go. Lovely. <laughs> I just put a little bit of bronzer there. You go. <laughs> nice. So you are now. Do you feel your inner Tom? Yes. yes. OK. <laughs> you're going to burst over there and you're going to give a burst of a song, yeah? OK? Yeah. You're feeling it. Take the mic out of the thing, work the room, and we'll see if the audience like you anymore, OK? <laughs> um, <laughs> off you go. Off you go, buddy. Go, 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 go. Here you go. Yes! <laughs> It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's incredible. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. But when I see you hanging about with anyone, it's not unusual to see me cry. Listen, uh, a brand new album came out. Uh, came out on Monday, wasn't it? Last yes, Monday. Yes, last Monday. Uh, so it's in the shops now. You could probably download it. Oh. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and uh, 24 hours. Right. And these are all new songs. <coughs> yeah, except for two. That and have what's been done the before. What, and Bono wrote one. Is that right? Yeah, Bono and the Edge. They wrote a song for me. Which one did they write? Sugar Daddy. Sugar Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yes, hello. Yes. Um, how did that happen? Well, I, I, I saw Bono in, uh, in Dublin in, in a club, and we were having a drink and having a chat. And I said, uh, I'd love it if you could write me a song. So we said, yeah, I can write you a song, but if I'm going to do it, I'd like it to be about you. So he asked me questions, and I gave him answers, and <clears throat> excuse me. then he, uh, he called me one day, and he said, I, I, I've got the song for you. And I said, really? What's it called? He said, Sugar Daddy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but he said, have a listen to it, you know. He said, so I did, and uh, I liked it. So I recorded it. Is it odd singing about yourself in a song called Sugar Daddy? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah, but it's, uh, it's a good song. It's, it's well written, well, well done, you know, well thought out. So, uh, and there's a lot of stuff in there that the, the information that I gave him, he was asking me, what did I do before I got into show business? And, you know, I said I was working on construction, so you've got to get your hands dirty when you're digging a ditch and... You know, and, stuff and, like and that. Seriously, congratulations, cause the reviews, I've read some of the reviews, uh -huh. and they're fantastic. I mean, yeah, they're you know, five-star reviews and everything. Mm. Because I co-wrote most of the stuff that's on there with, you know, with, with the songwriter. So, uh, yeah, so I think it's more personal than, um, than I've done before. Listen, we're going to hear the new single at the end of the show. Yeah. But, and just, what, I mean, how do you do, when you do, when you do like a live concert now, so mm -hmm. how do you work in new material? Because obviously that's hard for fans. Yeah, no, no, uh, as long as I keep the um, Delilah and the Green Grass of Home and What's New Pussy Got, you know, I keep those in the show, scattered throughout, throughout the show, then I can work new things uh, in there. So I've, I've sort of got five of these songs in, in the show already. I open with the I'm Alive. <laughs> <I'm finished. laughs> yeah. Good news! Exactly. <laughs> well, you know, it's a strange thing because there was a rumour going around about, yes. a, about a month ago that I'd passed away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. Some, somebody put it on the, on the internet, some, somebody wrote, you know, that I, that I had passed away, so... Um, Fox News got a hold of it in Los Angeles and called my agent to find out if I was, if I was all right. So then uh, my agent called um, my daughter-in-law, who was my, one of my managers, and my son, who was my other manager, was flying from uh, London to L.A., so he was in the air. So um, there's, there's a fellow that works for me at, at my house in, in, in Los Angeles. So Donna, my, my daughter-in-law, she said, could you check on Tom to see if he's all right? <laughs> <laughs> so he came, in, he came in the bedroom and he said, well, he's snoring. <laughs> so I don't think people snore when they die, do they? <laughs> oh, and then uh, I did a, a, an interview with, with somebody from CNN later on uh, that day. And she showed me, she said, do you want to read your obituary? Honestly, they had it all printed out. Oh, okay, that's oh. weird. Yeah, yeah, it is. But it was, I mean, I... She's just annoyed she hadn't been able to use it or something. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I read it. But there were some nice things in it, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> Any 
do. Um, the singing thing in Wales, it's not like a, a, a it's not like a, a sort of story. I mean, people do love singing in Wales. Yeah. So why is that? Um, I don't know. It's, uh, I think it's because it's, um, you don't have to buy an instrument. You know, you, it's already in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. As with some cultures, you've got to, you've got to get an instrument to make Let music. Let him talk! <laughs> You have to get an instrument, you know, to, to make music, but the voice, of course, is, uh, is already built in, so I think that's what, where it comes from, you know. They're so. cheap, is that what you're saying? I think... <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's a strange thing, but, uh, but a lot of people do sing in Wales. It's a big part of our culture. Now, apparently, there's a bit of a Welsh choir in... T is it now? So, you're members of the Meist and Gleeman... Meisteg. Meisteg Gleeman. Meisteg Gleeman. Come here. Um, That's it. Yes, and you're from uh, South Wales. Correct. And, uh. and have you... Did I, I see that you performed with Tom at some point? Yes, we uh, performed with Tom in the National Stadium. 10,000 voices with Tom. There you go. Oh, Pumped. wow! Yeah. When was that? Uh, in 1989, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> around, around about then. <laughs> yeah. What was yeah. the date? <laughs> <laughs> and, and did you sing Tom Jones songs? Yeah, we, we, backed, we backed Tom. Yeah, oh, we right. did. Yeah. The green do, you know, do you know any? Can he you did the green, green Grass of Home and he did uh, I Vote to Thee My Country, if I remember. That's right. Oh, can you give us a blast of a Tom Jones song? Of course you can. Oh, go, go. You ready? Yeah, yeah. go. My, 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 Delilah. Why, 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 Delilah. I could see that girl was no good for me. Like a slave that no man could free. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. I like the man in the blue shirt sitting next to them. We felt a bit. You've got the same kind of colour <laughs> shirt. The man next to them. He's not like. Yeah, he's a... <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> 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 he's not like edging <laughs> Join in. <laughs> yeah, at least join in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's your childhood, your childhood in uh, in Wales. Yes. And then uh, Alan. Now, because obviously your book, which is out at the moment, uh, look at his Alan Carr. I know. Oh, look at Alan Carr. And in here, you, you tell a lot of stories about because you had lots of kind of jobs when you were growing up. You worked yep. in Tesco's. Now, were you a customer ambassador? No, that was before they gave them all those names. I was just, um, I just the massive badge, I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Which people obviously translated as, I'm your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you do? Um, uh, you worked in call centres as well, didn't you? Call centre, data entry for Mr Dog. I was a driver's mate. I worked in a, a paint stripping factory. Wiping, um, I had a massive, it was all cash in hand, I don't know if you can say this. <laughs> but I had a massive bucket full of meths, and I just had to stick my rag in and wipe it, then hang it on a conveyor belt, and then the man would spray it. And by half four, I was off my face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, normally, when you have a really crap job, you get more, oh, you know, as the day goes on, but I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Any overtime? <laughs> <laughs> it was really shit. But you wanted to be an actor before you became a stand-up? Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, I've I got no range, have I? <laughs> Did you ever get a job as an actor? No. I did, I did some plays about, and um, I did um, Edward Bond Saved. I don't know if you've heard of it, but got banned because it was the brutalisation of a man stoning a baby to death. Oh. And I got the lead role. <laughs> what, were, were you and the I baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just stoned the baby. No. Yeah, and I can't throw. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Now, uh, now, now, you, obviously, your image has come through and, you know, and also you look fantastic. I was saying to you before, oh, you thanks. look brilliant. You look really, you. incredibly well. Um, Alan, you've struggled. <laughs> <laughs> no, only, I've read the book! I've read the book! <laughs> it's true, you, you have a 
a difficult time. Mm. We, well, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, in your book, in your book, oh, that's terrible. Um, <laughs> some of these pictures, I do think you were I quite know. brave to put them in. But I can't put that, someone else's. <laughs> that <laughs> picture is a corker. I was in a. <laughs> I was in a play. I was. I'm, I'm not going out clubbing. I'm in a play. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> and, and then, and you know, because you do go on about your teeth, and I guess yeah. because maybe it's because you're famous. So you know what I mean. So we know what you look like. But so it doesn't look. So I don't see. I don't see your teeth now. But but this is after two braces. I hit them on a caravan look outside Great Yarmouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was climbing about, and then I went, oh, like that. So, and they came out, and then, and then the, the dentist said that they'll either come out black or bent. And talk me through the story about the, um, the ice cream van. Oh, this is a, that's a story that's in the book, and like, as, as all, all kids like ice cream, Yes. You know, and it was when the ice cream van used to come, used to go mental. Ice cream, ice cream! Well, I did. Ice cream. <laughs> and I remember I couldn't find me shoes. <laughs> and my mum's going to sound like a right slag now, but I, um, I popped on her knee eye leather eye heel boots. <laughs> of ice cream! <laughs> and I zipped them up, and it, <laughs> and it started rowing. And, uh, <laughs> Oh God, you look back and you go, oh my God, my dad must have seen me, his son running up the road. <laughs> Cliffordy clock. <laughs> and my mum's bloody, oh my God. <laughs> All the neighbours go, there's Graham's son. <laughs> Very quickly, tell us, tell us about your cat growing up, Big Puss. Oh, Big Puss. Well, we had this day. <laughs> Not very imaginative. This big, fat ginger Tom who oh. was like, who had mental health problems, to be honest. <laughs> and it was so vicious. And we drove up from Dartford with this cat, and it, it was so horrible, it bit through the cardboard box <laughs> that it was in and then jumped on my mum's face. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I'm in the back. See, this cat, my mum winds the window and throws the cat out. <laughs> and, like, and I see the cat. There's so much emotion because I'm thinking, you know, that cat's attacking my own mum. <laughs> but then you see your own cat whiz. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what? It found its way home. It found its way home. It did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to mention, uh, Celebrity Ding Dong, series on at the moment. Yeah, yeah, which uh, finished last week. Oh, did it? Oh. But no, 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 but Five Night Project's back soon. Oh, you can plug that. There's a light. And uh, now this, so there's a, you can buy, if you, if you, Sky Plus broke, uh, you can, you can buy a DVD of yeah. Celebrity Ding Dong. Is this series one? Series one, the thing is, it took so long to do, and now because we were there, we got, we got like about over like an hour of extra bits, so we all just stuck it on and uh, stuck it out. But yes, yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> all right, we've got a little clip. Here's a little clip. So, because it, it, we did it where the celebrities won the holiday, won the, the holiday if they wanted, and but they were all the celebrities, yeah, we want to win the holiday because it's either the celebrities or the civilians, but they were going like, did they go with, did they go with each other, the celebrities? Yeah, yeah, it was a pack, not many of them took it up, but right. it was like a, you know, it was like a weekend away, like Benador, mm. Malacanti, you know, nice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, all the celebrities, like, we want to win it. And I thought, now, these poor people ain't got anything. Do you prefer it without the, do you prefer it without the poor people now? I do, because there's they got rid, so they got rid of can... the regular people, now it's just celebrity versus celebrities oh. now. Yeah, yeah, you see, you do, because it's only so long you can stretch a little joke, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> like how they were nicking from the dressing rooms, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's much nicer now, but yeah, it was a lot of fun doing it. But now, I have to say, it, it, in terms of, you know, meeting celebrities and being friends with celebrities, yeah. uh, you do kind of trump us all, uh, because Elvis, re I mean, Elvis was a, a friend of yours. Yeah, he? yeah. And, well, I mean, it sounds, reading about it, it sounds like he was, so, not, he's obsessed, too strong a word, but like he really, really liked you and would come to see your show all the time. Yeah. And, 
We used to, when we played Vegas together, he would, um, if, if his show or, or a bunch of shows that he was doing, when, uh, when he would finish and I would still be there, you know, doing uh, shows, he would come to, uh, to the shows. He would, every night he would be there. And sometimes he would walk on the stage. The strangest thing, I would be in the middle of a song and everybody go, ooh, and I think, oh my God, what happened? You know, so... <laughs> Has it escaped? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I came off stage one night, and um, Elvis is in the dressing room, you know, and he said, Tom, I, I, got, I, I got a song for you. And I said, uh, okay, great, but I, I got to get in the shower, you know, because I perspire so much. So I'm in the shower, right, under the thing, and the water's coming down like this, and I hear, oh, <laughs> okay. And I thought, I'm going bloody mad here, because, you know, I can, I can hear Elvis Presley singing in the shower. And I, <laughs> when I open my eyes, he's leaning over the door. <laughs> Well, you. <laughs> now, well, listen, talking of, of showers, you, now, not talking of showers, but you're going to sing in, in a moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as a sort of a warm-up, right, uh, do, do you ever sing in the shower? Uh, yeah, sometimes. You do? Mm -hmm. as, as, to, to warm yourself up and stuff? Uh, no, I, I mean, there's always songs going through my mind all the time, mm -hmm. so sometimes I'll burst out, you know. Well, what we've done is uh, we've created our own little shower room uh, just backstage here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> some... Uh, some Let's call them volunteers. <laughs> are going to sing for us. Now, I have this. Now, when they get in the shower, the water temperature will be a nice even. <laughs> <laughs> now, to avoid burning and lawsuits, I'm imagining I won't be going very hot. <laughs> I saw that, I was like, I don't think I want to burn the people in the shower. <laughs> Hilarity, their skin being burnt off. <laughs> so, I'm guessing I'll be making it cold uh, to see how it affects their, their, um, their singing. Mm. OK. I'm, get, I'm sure this is connected to the shower. <laughs> I, I imagine. I so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've got people in all day working on this. Right. <laughs> OK. Um, so, uh, so uh, first person into the shower, please. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Now, uh, I should have a bit of paper with your name on it. That's... It's Chris. Oh, hello. it's Chris. Hello. Um, and uh, you're an IT consultant from Fulham. That's correct. Do you still have a job? Uh, I, I still do, <laughs> luckily. OK, good luck tomorrow. Thank um, you. So in you get. In you get. So start the shower. OK, so you start singing. Sex bomb, sex bomb. You're the sex bomb. You can give it to me. Well, I need to go. Maybe you can try. Well done. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Off you go. Well done, sir. I would think that was very good. Yeah. Great. Next up, we have uh, Simon from Chorley Wood. You know. Hey. Hey. Well done, Simon. In your hop. In your hop. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Robin Williams back again. <laughs> okay. Now, do you want to make this perfect? If Tom Jones suddenly appeared over the top of the cubicle. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're off. I saw the night on the night. I saw the That is nearly it for tonight. Please stop, I guess. Tom Jones and Alec Carr! <laughs> Tom, if you want to go over there ready? Yeah. They're all over there waiting for you. Yes, Thank you very much, sir. See you in a sec. You can watch our on television this Sunday night and do join us next week with Paula Grady and Oscar winning actress Reese Witherspoon. We'll see you then. But now, to play us out with If He Should Ever Leave You from his new album, it is Tom Jones! <laughs> Captive 
wedding eyes The clever way they smile Stops him in his tracks Then at your pretty face You keep him in his place He do anything you ask The way you move, it's obvious that you were made for breaking hearts. The pout of your lips, those soft fingertips, the curve of your waist, you're perfectly made. It would be a crime to ever let you go. Drove Arthur P. 